All right, so I can't get too excited for this because everybody in the world pretty much already knows about this. But Penguins ended up getting the chance to show up and kind of stirred a little bit of the world uh, this past week. And Connor S. played this deck uh, out of New Zealand and actually found success with this bad boy. So uh, it all comes down to Note Penguin. And uh, I, I, jokes aside here, you guys should uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on excellent content here. So, penguins, what do these guys do? During either player's turn, when an effect of a penguin monster is activated, special summon this card from your graveyard. Oh, it extends back out. You only use this effect of Nope Penguin once per turn, and this card be returned from the field to the hand by the effect of a penguin card, banish it instead. Well, here, here's how this works, all right? Penguins are a fun little group of creatures that all have semi-unique effects, and they also have this thing. One tuner, one non-tuner to make it generic on a level 6. Your opponent cannot target or face down monsters. You control card effects. You can only use each of the following effects of Penguin Brave once per turn. If this card is single summon, you can spot some one penguin monster from your deck and face down defense position. Your opponent's monster activates a monster effect quick effect. You can target a face down defense position water monster you control and flip it face up. So we can just, you know, flip up our little penguin friends. Uh, where's the, oh, the classic penguin soldier interaction. We also have this little bolt penguin here, uh, which is, well, I mean, vanilla support. It is what it is. So, we have triple copies of Astral Blossom in Joyous Spring, two copies of the Rosinix for, you know, the old cool kids plays. Also, make sure the token. We have two copies of the Minstrel, so you can get the hand knowledge on the opponent, kind of get an idea of what you're playing against. Basic stuff here. Uh, we have one Pinkertops, Triple copies of Genix Undyne. You guys know how this goes, right? You drop your water monster, start comboing on your opponent. One copy of the gl Glacial Beast Polar Penguin. Uh, two copies of Math Man. Two copies of Nope Penguin, or No Penguin. Uh, we have two copies of Penguin Soldier. The one Scrap Golem. The triple copies of the Scrap Recycler. The two Bolt Penguin. The two copies of the Genix Controller. Then we have Fury of the Kyrushin. So you can add a Tarantula Tribute from your deck to your hand. If a water monster monsters will be destroyed by a card effect and banish this card from your graveyard instead. Hmm. So it actually gives us protection from our own Tarantula Tribute. Basic interaction here. I know a lot of people really haven't explored wanting to play Fury of the Kyrushin yet, but unironically, you have five copies of Tarantula Tribute in your deck. Uh, we have one copy of Monster Reborn, triple copies of the Painful Decision. Triple copies of Unexpected Die, with two copies of Evenly Matched, and triple copies of Yield Torrential Tribute. Wrapping up, well, a very interesting main deck. Extra deck down here, we have Scrap Wyvern for Scrap Combo. You know, we have to have some sort of degeneracy in the deck. One Coral Anemone, uh, two Link Spider, one copy of the Unicorn, one IP, one Hauk, one Apollosa, one Access Code, the one B Penguin Brave, one Final Ligma, one... Mr. Formula Synchron, one Desert Locust, one Crystal Wing, and one Borrowed Savage. Side deck here we have triple copies of Chaos Hunter, one copy of Doggeron, two copies of Gamma Seal, one copy of Jizukuru, two Radeon, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, and triple copies of Yield Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, wrapping up the Penguin strategy. Now, I've, we actually we covered the similar version to this. Um, well, it's penguins. I mean, I don't know how much similar you get, but we covered a penguin deck name. What back in the Twelve Days of Christmas, uh, one of Akino's friends was playing this, and you know we didn't go as combo heavy on this. It was just more like a fun little gimmicky deck. But to see penguins actually finding success, this is freaking awesome. So thank you, Connor, for showing the world that this meme is actually, well, quite interesting, to say the least. Next up, we have Sky Striker. This was Brian Chen's first place list out of the Win a Box tournament. Now, we literally just had the world be shocked by the advent of Striker Eldritch this past weekend. So, seeing, you know, more, eh, I would say a common place for Striker in the format now is not a bad thing. This deck's prowess is quite amazing, actually. It still has one of the best grind games that you could ever want out of it. You know, having lost Engage, it's whatever, but this deck still capitalizes and still does the same plays that you know it's wanted to do this entire time. So that being said, we have triple copies of Yield Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, two copies of Ghost Bell and the Haunted Mansion, 
triple copies of ye old skull meisty and triple copies of ray and one rose i kind of have noticed lately that rose's mileage is really starting to drop like the card was really good for a little while and it just kind of feels like the value that you get out of it isn't as good as it used to be i don't know maybe Maybe I'm just a little bit off put by this, but it really does feel like the Rose's value is falling off as the format is developing. We have two copies of Book of Moon. Yes, this card is really freaking good. One copy of Mr. Drag, or Call By. Uh, triple copies of uh, Cosmic Cyclone. Two copies of Pot of Desires. The one Rota. The two copies of Area Zero. One Afterburners. One Hornet Drones. Triple copies of Shark Cannon. Yeah, it looks like the the formula right now is triple shark cannon. Uh, across both the striker, Eldritch variant, and this one, I'm seeing the triple shark cannon. So looks like if you want to find success this format, just max out on triple of these, and you're going to be in a great spot. Your opponent's going to hate you, but you're going to feel good. And we have triple copies of Widow Anchor, the one multi-roll, the one copy terraforming, and the one upstart. And then we have triple copies of Ice Dragon Prison. Then we have triple copies of Psalm Strike. Extra down here. Hmm. We have one Zeke, triple copies of Shizuku, uh, one copy of Kaina, triple copies of Kagari, and triple copies of Hayate. Yep, the ratios on these look the same too. Then we have one Ingridisu, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Hauk, and one copy of the Access Code Machine. Side deck here with triple copies of Cycle Raider, two copies of Nibiru, two copies of Forbidden Droplet, one Feather Duster, two copies of Misty, triple copies of Shared Ride. Recently, somebody asked me if this card was like amazing bonkers in this format. And I do think that this card is very good. Don't get me wrong, it's just, I, I personally don't know if I'd want to explore this. Like, your best value is you go first, you net a whole bunch of advantage. And, I mean, probably your opponent won't be able to kill you, but like, a lot of cards are once per turn clauses at this point. So, how much can you really gain out of this? And we have two copies of the Silent Graveyard. Discard one card, the effects that activate in the graveyard this turn are negated. Hmm. Huh. Looking at you, Drytron. All right, and then the last list we actually have for you guys today is Dinosaurs. This was Jose Manuel Marilla's giant card winner, which means we took home one of those oversized giant cardboard pieces that are worth a lot of money on the secondary market. So Dinosaurs, they've had it rough this format. Yes, this deck is extremely good, but it's it's definitely fallen off of the wayside. Like. How many of you guys, you've seen Drytron running around, you saw Eldritch Zodiac running around, but dinosaurs progressively from last format have been on the decline this entire time. Like, they're just going straight on down, and it's quite the interesting little feat to see. So we have two copies of the Animador, Archazor, triple copies of Asher Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple copies of little baby Sarasaurus, one Pankratops, Triple copies of Ghost Bell in the Haunted Mansion, the one giant Rex. Some things would never really change with these builds. We have triple copies of Miscellaneous, one copy of the Pterodon, triple copies of Gamma, triple copies of Overraptor, two copies of Ultimate Conductor with the one driver, one copy of Dark Will No More. That's interesting. It's what makes the deck 41. Two double evolution bill, two droplet, triple copies of Fossil Dig, triple Lost World, triple Extra and one copy of Terraforming, wrapping up the main deck here. Extra deck, we have the two Secure Garden, the one Lambda, two copies of Link Kribo, one Phoenix, one Tornado Dragon, one Silent Honor Arc. That's interesting, haven't seen that in a little while. Uh, one copy of Logia, two copies of Dolka, two copies of Sky Thunder Zeus, with one Abyss Dweller, and the one copy of the Cyframe Lord Omega. Side deck here, we have two Cycle Reader, triple copies of Lancia, one copy of Droll, two copies of Dark Roller No More, one Feather Duster, two Lightning Storm, triple copies of Angie's Puff Fragrance, and one copy of everybody's favorite, Red Reboot. Wrapping up this chunk of deck profiles for everybody. Progressively, seeing how the metagame is still kind of developing here, Dinosaurs getting pushed down to, like, Altergeist status right now is very, very interesting. Like, the format is continuing to be solved. We're starting to see really cool things. We're seeing rogue decks over here, like Penguins, Finding success, I mean, yeah, it's at a local level, but it is still very interesting to see how this format is shifting. Even with all the anti-graveyard cards that are revolving for to stop Drytron, it still goes to prove that the player base does, that they're finding ways to out everything. So guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on more excellent content, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more cool content. Peace out, guys. Have a good Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well... 
I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mquil 40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mquilgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.